to show this is a quick addendum video uh, so it'll be f fairly quick uh, but it's meant to be what could happen uh, after the split by a dividend let me state um, let me um, remind everyone that I'm not a financial advisor this is not financial advice this information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only it is Aug it is uh, August 1 2022 so uh, this is the original video that this, that this is the addendum to. So check out Jamie after the split by dividend, one week plus two days of trading. So I will not be going over the contents of that video. This is in addition to that. So uh, we know from the what is it? We know that from the last Form 10Q that was filed that there are seventy six million one hundred and twenty nine thousand thirty four shares pre split, and that was on the title page of the Form 10Q. Uh, we know that there was a 4 to 1 stock split announced, so that means that as of July 22nd, there would be 304 million shares, which means that uh, GameStop distributed, by a dividend, 228 million shares. Okay, Those shares uh, went to computer shares, basically, and from there they, w they went to the people who had DRS their shares and to the DTCC, the Depository Trust in... Corporation, the Depository Trust and Clearing Corporation. And from there, the DTCC is intended to um, distribute those to the various brokers. And, fr and from the brokers, you would see them, see the shares appear in your account. Okay. So what happened? We know that it got as far, we know the shares got as far as a DTCC. So therefore, the question comes up, what's going to happen next? Well, this all depends. So if the DTCC directed brokers to treat um, GameStop as a split and not a split via dividend, then GameStop can be removed as an agent uh, 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 or as a depository for GameStop shares, right? So, you know, there's a good reason now. They don't know what they're doing. They're clearly incompetent at that point. Clear incompetence means that you can fire them, right? <clears throat> So if that happens, if they are removed, if they are removed as a depository for GameStop shares, that means shorts must close their positions with brokers. If the DTCC is removed from GameStop, right? Shorts have to close. It's just a given. When they close, that means forced buying of GameStop, which means lar a large price increase, right? Um, now, if the shorts have sold more shares than were actually even issued, which we think is the case then it would be impossible for them to close because more shares would need to be bought than are actually available. And let's just say the longs don't sell, you know? So at that point, the price goes up dramatically and you have the MOAS. So that is what could happen. That, that's why this whole thing about how the shares get distributed is important. And um, that's it. This is a really quick video. It's meant to be an addendum. Uh, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for, intended for en entertainment and educational purposes only. But this is what we're looking at, poss at, you know, at, at what may happen. We may see the MOAS as a, result, as a result of this. And MOAS stands for mother of all short squeezes. And when that happens, the price of the stock goes heads towards infinity. And again, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. This information is intended for entertainment and educational purposes only. Goodbye. Good night.